Good afternoon, Westminster Woods on Julianton Creek. Chaplain Leslie bringing you our Tuesday prayer for today, which is November the 19th. We are but a few short days away from celebrating Thanksgiving, but we are always in that season. And so this is a prayer that speaks to that. It is entitled simply Thanksgiving. It was written by poet Ella Wheeler Wilcox. She lived between 1850 and 1919. And so let us see what she has to share about gratitude and giving thanks. We walk on starry fields of white and do not see the daisies. For blessings common in our sight, we rarely offer praises. We sigh for some supreme delight to crown our lives with splendor and quite ignore our daily store of pleasures sweet and tender. Our cares are bold and push their way upon our thought and feeling. They hand about us all the day, our time from pleasure stealing. So unobtrusive many a joy we pass by and forget it, but worry strives to own our lives and conquers if we let it. There's not a day in all the year but holds some hidden pleasure and looking back, joys oft appear to brim the past's wide measure. But blessings are like friends, I hold, who love and labor near us. We ought to raise our notes of praise while living hearts can hear us. Full many a blessing wears the guise of worry or of trouble. Far-seeing is the soul and wise who knows the mask is double. But he who has the faith and strength to thank his God for sorrow has found a joy without alloy to gladden every morrow. We ought to make the moment's notes of happy, glad thanksgiving, the hours and days a silent praise of music we are living. And so the theme should swell and grow as weeks and months pass o'er us and rise sublime at this good time, a grand thanksgiving chorus. Let us pray. Lord, indeed, a grand thanksgiving chorus is comprised of all of our many blessings, large and small. May we take the time to recognize them and share them in this season. It is in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen, good people. May this day and this season be especially blessed for each of you. Peace.